My juicy life is about living a life of purpose and passion. This is so great. Hello, welcome to my juicy life. I'm your host, Lilu. In my juicy life, we will explore practices that will help us reaching our goals and dreams more effectively and in tune with our mission. In our last episode, we saw how journaling heals our life and help us manifest our dreams. As Sandy Grayson, best-selling author of Journalution was pointing out, meditation combined with journaling is a powerful tool. So today we are going to look at some simple breathing, meditation and yoga techniques we can apply in our life to make it juicier. I am thrilled to have here in Chicago amazing, juicy, talented and maroon flying from Miami, the warm Miami. So we're here in windy and cold Chicago. We're all bundled up and uh, ready to get started. Uh, this is not really traditional yoga outfit as you can tell, but you know what? It's really necessary because Amaroon loves to connect with nature. So this is, this is pretty much it. So we've, got, we've selected for you some special yoga winter yoga juicy moves for you. And uh, we'll do our best. You know what? She's coming from Miami, and this is about it, right, Amara? Right. I'm looking Welcome. forward to practice with everybody in Chicago. Yay! consultant and a seminar facilitator worldwide. She affects powerfully and positively people and guide them to unleash their true potential through various tools she developed during her studies and experiences on the five continents. She received guidance and visionary directions while traveling in India, Thailand, Australia, North America and Europe, as well as Chile. Her methods include energy work, handwriting analysis, reflexology, yoga, and samkhya dance, as well as life coaching. She has developed as well her own methodology called Dharmi. Amaroon is originally from Switzerland and now lives in Miami. Her favorite quote from Gandhi is, be the change that you want to be in the world. As a certified yoga teacher practicing for the past 10 years, she's going to teach us today some simple yet effective ways to integrate meditating, breathing and yoga in our daily life. Get ready for your transformation. I'm so excited to have today flying from Miami, Amaroon. Hello Amaroon. Bonjour Lilou. Bonjour. So good to speak French a little bit. Yes. Anyway, it's definitely different weather than in Miami, isn't it? A little colder. Yeah. But it's wonderful to feel a bit of the cold around. You know, Miami is always so warm and the lake, the city is really wonderful. Beautiful, so amazing. Thank you for coming. So it seems that we're always running around and never taking time for ourselves and not even taking time to breathe. 
So what's up with that? <laughs> what's I happening? Think that, I think that people sometimes they forget to breathe mainly because the breath is very much measured by the nervous system in the body. So the way our nervous system is functioning, many times when we get stress in our life and we have a lot of work and the kids and the family to take care of and so much going on, that then we're like, we forgot the breath. Because as the nervous system is not so balanced also and the rhythm of our life is not any more balanced really with our body and our inner self, so that makes us like really of forgetting to breathe. But what happened is like the breath should be natural for everybody but it's not anymore, mainly because of the stress. So, but why is it so important that we need to take time to breathe and maybe even sit down? Okay, the breathing is very important first because it's bringing the oxygen towards all the cells in the body, which is very important for good health. Yeah. It's also nurturing the brain. So when we don't breathe so much, we also don't focus so much anymore. And our concentration level is not as strong and as positive and as clear as when we breathe deeply like when we use like techniques of breathing we begin to have also our mind more clear mm -hmm. our whole being begin to be more clear and ideas and concentration so it's really a lot for the mind but it's also a lot for our health and the physical health even for the digest system because the breathing is also making like the ribs moving so it's also creating a massage toward the digest system mm -hmm. and the diaphragm the heart beats, so it's really key for our life and it's very important, it's empowering. So what are the, some simple, easy breathing techniques that um, some of our viewers can apply in their life? Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Okay. So that's a way that you just find a comfortable position, take a few minutes in your life and you inhale, exhale through the nose. When you inhale, it's not like, oh, through the nose, <laughs> that, no, you, what you want is hear it from the back of your throat okay so it's like slightly moving the ribs because it's and it's just like a gentle massage for your ribs also and for your chest so just there is another way it is also circular breathing that they use more into the vipassana meditation but that's already like breathing and meditation mm -hmm. but it's inhaling through the nose okay you bring the air up to the top of your head then you bring the air all along the spine on the back and as you exhale, you exhale through the mouth and it comes like forward. So it's like, like a circular breathing. So you have to even like imagine and feel the air coming from the nose, top of your head, all along the spine. And then as you exhale, very soft, gentle. Feels good. And it's like a very good circular breathing. So people can just practice. Yeah. Try the nose, try nose and mouth and experiment. There is another way that's called the breath work. And this one is people doing a deep breath. Like they are two hours or an hour laying down and then no. breathe through the mouth. Some people take two hours of their life daily to breathe. Not daily, but when they do really a deep wow. process, it's really a technique of breathing to open and release a lot of old emotion we have within ourselves. Ah. So that's more like a technique like already as a healing process that people use the breath to release all like traumas that we have from the past and even from the birth. Much love. Stay tuned and visit myjuicylife.com.